distrust, I now declare open. Before the business of the day, will someone please lead us in a short opening prayer? Thank you, company secretary, could you select somebody? Yes, um, thank you, sir. Someone is about to take prayer, sir. We rise for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for making it possible for us to gather today. And may you bless the, this gathering. Father, may you also, in this gathering, grant us the wisdom and knowledge to discuss the affairs of our company and to move this company to a greater height. Father, we are aware of the war crisis on coronavirus. We pray that you will get rid of this for us and our businesses and the economy will return to what it's supposed to be. We also pray that all of us here with our families and those not here will not be affected by coronavirus. Heavenly Father, our business is to produce paint and we want an environment where our business will strive. We pray that the next time we are going to meet, we are not going to approve 25 Kobo. We'll go back to what we used to do in the past, 70 Kobo and above. Father, upon all, I ask that you grant your grace upon every one of us here to have a successful meeting and to return back to our various places with happiness and joy. This I ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, uh, welcome to Bedra Paints Nigeria PLC. My name is Neka, and I'm here to give, and I'm here to give, and I'm here to give, sir? And I'm here to give the safety brief for this meeting. In case of an emergency, we have two clearly marked doors. We'll be using the left one if there's a fire emergency. You'll be taking your left and your exit will be towards, the master point will be towards your right as you enter into the facility. We'll also have a badger host who will be there to assist you and direct you towards the master point. In case you need to use the convenience, we also have the second mark to your right emergency exit. You'll be taking a double right and your convenience, clearly marked male and female, will be to your left. In view of the pandemic, we have also provided you with um, a safety kit. In that kit, you have your hand sanitizer. We're already using our nose mask. And we implore that from time to time, you make use of the hand sanitizer, especially when you touch high contact surface areas. Thank you.
changes to the board as part of the company's robust succession framework for executive management and to ensure business continuity. The board appointed a chief operations officer in November 2019 in the person of Mr. Adeyemi Adetoluwa. I confirm that the register of directors shareholders is available for inspection by members in compliance with provisions of section 275 subsection 8 of the company and other Before moving to the formal aspects of the meeting, I would like to introduce the directors and secretary. We have the following directors who already signed in and who are part of this meeting. Chief Musa Tanjima, non-executive director. Engineer Patrick Buruche, non-executive director. Mr. Raj Mantani, non-executive director. Chief Nelson Wiki. Sanjay Tatwani, non-executive director. We also have the following directors seated in the hall. Mr. Kule Bolo Kondi, non-executive director. Mr. Anjan Serka, managing director. I am Mr. Hadi Aida, your chairman. And Mr. Ayokule Ayoku is our company secretary legal advisor. I want to also Mr. Sami Wosu, Mrs. B.C. Bakari, and Comrade Lawrence Okutoye. We acknowledge all the shareholders and staff of our company, members of the press, and other stakeholders who are viewing this meeting via our website and YouTube, and who are unable to be physically present here. Finally, I want to use this opportunity for us to exercise a brief moment of silence for two of our key shareholders who passed from the date of the last day jail. They are Mrs. Efuremi Chokwedu of Beacon's Shareholders Association of Nigeria and the former national coordinator of Constance Shareholders Association of Nigeria, Mr. Shehu Mikhail. We have reached out as a company to their families and it is our prayer that their souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. I thank you for your usual decorum at our meetings and wish to appeal to any member who wishes to ask a question, make comments, move or second a motion to please raise his or her hand and the microphone will be provided. I think in this case we'll be using the podium. May I call on the company secretary legal advisor to read the notice convening this meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the notice can be found in page 24 of the annual report. I will now go ahead to read the notice. Notice of 60th Annual General Meeting. Notice is hereby given that the 60th Annual General Meeting of Virgil Paints Nigeria PLC will be held by proxy at the company's head office at 102 Oba Akran Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos State on Wednesday, June 24, 2020 at 10 a.m. or so soon thereafter to transact the following business. Ordinary business. One, to receive the audited financial offering themselves for re-election as directors at the AGM. The profile of the directors are contained in the annual report, which may be electronically downloaded at or customer care at vegapaintnig.com. Lastly, right of shareholder security holders. 
Shareholders have a right to ask questions, not only at the meeting, but also in writing prior to the meeting. And such written questions must be submitted to the company secretary, legal advisor, on or before June 19, 2020, by order of the board, Ayokunle Ayoko, company secretary, legal advisor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Opinion on the floor as read. Thank you very much. I now call on the representative of the company's external auditors, Messrs. KPMG Professional Services, to present their report on the financial statement for the December 2000, 2019 which has been included in the annual reports and accounts. It is on page 54 of the annual report. Good morning, distinguished shareholders, the board and everyone present. Our independent auditor's report is on page 54 through cried in the auditor's responsibilities for the audit of the financial statement section of our report. We are independent of the company in accordance with the International Ethics Standards Board for Accountants Code of Ethics for Professional Accountants, the ESBA Code, together with the ethical requirements that are relevant to our audit of the financial statements in Nigeria. And we have fulfilled our other ethical responsibilities in accordance with these requirements and the ESBA Code. We believe that the audit evidence we have obtained is sufficient and appropriate to provide a basis for our opinion. Key audit matters. Key audit matters are those matters that, in our professional judgment, were of most significant financial statements of the current period. These matters were addressed in the context of our audit of the financial statements as a whole and informing our opinion thereon, and we do not provide a separate opinion on these matters. Revenue recognition. Revenue recognition is the most significant item in the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income and impacts key performance indicators on which the company and its directors are assessed. Its significance makes revenue a matter of focus in our audit. Furthermore, the recognition and measurement of revenue from rendering painting services to customers requires the application of judgment by management in the estimation of the percentage of completion of individual contracts as at year end. How the matter was addressed in the audit. Our audit procedures included the following. We evaluated the design, implementation, and operating effectiveness of key controls established within the revenue process. We obtained a sample of revenue transactions recognized for the year and agreed to invoices and delivery way bills acknowledged by customers. We assessed the accuracy of a sample of sales returns and rebates by checking them to the supporting documentation, such as approved credit notes to customers. We challenge the company's basis for recognition and measurement of revenue from contract services rendered to customers by recalculating the proportion of cost incurred related to the total expected cost. We also recalculated the rental revenue recognized in respect of the company's investment property based on the report issued by the external property manager. And we checked that for a sample of revenue transactions occurring prior to and immediately after the year end date, revenue was recognized in the appropriate period. The company's accounting policy and notes on revenue are shown in notes 4L and 5, respectively, of the accompanying financial statements. With your permission, Mr. Chairman and all present, um, I would like to proceed to page 56 to take our other reports on other legal and regulatory requirements. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Report on other legal and regulatory requirements. Compliance with the requirements of Schedule 6 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Cap C20, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. In our opinion, proper books of accounts have been kept by the company, so far as appears from our examination of those books, and the company's statement of financial position and statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income are in agreement with the books of accounts signed by me for KPMG Professional Services, dated 28, 28 May 2020 in Lagos, Nigeria. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Zaghi. Um, at this point, I would like to call on the chairman of the audit committee to present the report of the audit committee, which has been included in page 52 of the annual report and accounts. Mr. Chibuzoi, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, the great authorities here present, all board of directors, and fellow distinguished shareholders. Like as the chairman rightly said, is on uh, my report is on page 52. I read it us. In accordance with the provision of section 359 of section 6 of the Company and Ally Matters Act, Cap C20, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004 Act. We, the members of the Audit Committee of Beja Paint, Nigeria PLC, having carried our statutory function under the, under the Act, hereby reports that one, the scope and planning of both the external and internal audit programs for the year ended 31st December 2019 were adequate in our opinion. Two, the accounting and reporting policies of the company conform to statutory requirements and agreed ethical practices. Three, the internal control was being constantly and effectively monitored. Four, having reviewed the external auditor's findings and recommendations on management matters, we are satisfied. We are satisfied with management response thereon. Finally, we acknowledge the cooperation of management in the conduct of these duties. The members of the audit committee for 2019 financial year were one, my humble self, A.K. Chibuzo, shareholder representative, Mrs. Mary Joke Shofalaho, shareholder representative member, Mr. Taiwo Afinju, shareholder representative member, Chief Nelson Mweke, independent non executive director member, Chief Musa Danjuma, non executive director member, Engineer Patrick Buruche, non executive director member, the company secretary, stroke legal advisor, Mr. Ayokunle Ayoku, serve as the secretary to the committee, sign dated March 10, 2020. Eke Chibuzo, Chairman Audit Committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. A.K. Lastly, I'll call on the Managing Director of Masses DCSL Professional Services to present the appraisal report on the performance of the board during the 2019 financial year. The report is on page 51 of the annual report and accounts. Mrs. Adeyemi. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, directors and distinguished shareholders. I present the reports of the consultants on the performance of the board of directors of Better Paints Nigeria PLC for the year ended December 31st, 2019. DCSL Corporate Services was engaged by Berger Paints uh, to carry out an evaluation of the performance of the Board of Directors for the year ended 31st December 2019 in line with the provisions of Section 15.6 of the Securities and Exchange Commission Code and Principle 15.1 of the Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance 2018, as well as Global Best Practices on Corporate Governance. The appraisal entailed a review of the company's corporate and statutory documents 
minutes of board and committee meetings, policies, and other ancillary documents made available to us, and the administration of questionnaires. To ascertain the extent of compliance with relevant corporate governance principles and the performance of the board in general, corporate governance structures, policies, and processes against the provisions of the SEC and NCCG codes, as well as global best practices, and consider the following seven governance, corporate governance themes board structure, strategy, and board operations and effectiveness, measuring and monitoring are contained in our detailed report. Signed, DCS or Corporate Services. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Abiyami. We have now come to the main business of the meeting. Please note that in line with the guidelines for convening this meeting, Voting for all resolutions, except the resolution for the statutory audit committee elections, shall be by poll, in line with sections 224 to 226 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, 2004. The first item on the agenda is to receive the audited financial statement of the company for the year ended December 31st, 2019, and the reports of the directors, auditors, external consultants on the board appraisal, and audit committee thereon. The reports and accounts have been circulated to all members in compliance with statutory requirements. Pursuant to the Companies and Allied Matters Act, I hereby lay before you, on behalf of the Board of Directors, audited financial statements for the year ended December 2019, together with the reports of the directors and auditors. I please, if I may request you use the podium to give your questions. I'll leave it to the company secretary to recognize speakers in this regard. Thank you. We'll start with Mrs. Bakari, sir. So, we'll Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shannon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, directors here present, uh, regulatory authority here present also, my co-shareholders, good morning. My name is Mrs. B.C. Bakari, the National Coordinator of Pragmatic Shareholders Association of Nigeria. First and foremost, Mr. Chairman, before I start my comments, I want to use this opportunity to really commend the board management and staff of our company. Vaja Paint of Nigeria PSC for an excellent result during the year under review. On that note, I will go straight to page five of the annual report and accounts, where we have financial highlights. My colleagues can see that uh, all the indices here are all positive. That is very good. Our revenue increased by 6%. That's why that our revenue grew by just 6%. Our gross profit grew by 12% from 1.48 billion to 1.66 billion. This is very good. Also, our operating profit also grew by 16% from 442.3 million to 512.9 million. Our profit before minimum tax increased by 21%. Profit before income tax grew by 17%. Profit for the year also moved by 40% from 320.5 million to 448.7 million. This is very good. And now we urge the uh, management, I mean the board and management to keep it up. But uh, where I have concern on this page is on dividend proposed. Mr. Chairman, I don't expect that our company will pay anything less than what we paid last year. We paid 65 cobalt last year when our earnings per share was 111. And we are, you are giving us uh, 25 cobalt when our earnings is 155 cobalt. We are not happy about that at all. 
If you look at it very well, so you see that the earnings per share grew by 40%. Earnings per share grew by 40%. So why our dividend declined by 62%? So I would like the chairman to explain why it is so. Page 14. Under chairman statements, uh, I really congratulate our board for the completion of our automated factory. This is very good. And I believe and hope that uh, this will in, uh, increase our revenue in the coming year. Page 27. Uh, on this page, I want to also really commend those that are in charge of this annual report and accounts. The annual report is so detailed and good. All the information needed that we share need are also there. I think this is the only first time I'm seeing this kind of uh, information guide for the annual general meeting. I've never seen it in any annual report. Uh, uh, yes. And again, uh, information on corporate governance on page 37 to 47 is so detailed also. I really commend the company secretary and those that are in charge of this annual report. They've done very well on this account. Page 80. Page 80, where we have notes to the financial statements. That is uh, impairment loss on trade receivables. Impairment loss on trade receivables. I want the management to look at this. And uh, I will go to page 89. I want to take the two together. That is still because the note there is note 18B. And the note 18B is on page 89 on the impairment loss on page 89. Yeah, note 18B. Balance as at 1st January was 120 million. Net impairment loss recognized for this year is 38.1 million. Balance as at 31st December 2019, 158.1 million. I want the management to look at this and uh, in order to reduce this uh, figure. Uh, again, uh, I will only advise our, there is, of course, there is no doubt we cannot do without uh, credit to our customer, but we should, if possible, we should try as much as possible that they pay, or even if they don't pay in time, Maybe they will pay some interest on it if they don't pay as at when due. Page 105. Page 105, where we have follow a date. Mr. Chairman, if you look at the value added, you see that uh, to providers of finance, we have only 1% for this year. As value added, this is not good at all. For last year, we have two percent, but this year is one percent. So I want you to look at it in the future. Lastly, on page 106, where we have the five year financial summary. Looking at this financial year, it shows that uh, anyone invested in our company can go and sleep and uh, with no shaking because our uh, revenue from 2015 has continued moving up. The same thing with profit before minimum tax. Profit for the year, the same thing. It's only this year that our dividend uh, declined. So, and I hope that uh, you help us to keep it for coming year. And on that note, uh, Mr. Chairman, I believe that uh, by next year that uh, we will not expect nothing less than one naira from our company. Thank you for the opportunity given to me.
company secretary, is there another speaker? Yes, sir. Um, um, Good morning, my able chairman, regulatory CR person, board of directors, and distinguished shareholder. Good morning. I'm Comrade Lawrence Ogutoyi um, from Ibaro constituency, representing uh, Watch Your Group. Shareholder Association comprises of eight registered shareholders in which their tentacles spread across the nation. Uh, it's a privilege to be here, and I'm glad when I received this annual report, I've digested it. Uh, first and foremost, I want to appreciate the quality of these products. It really talks about the, the quality of our paints. I want to appreciate you for this kind of a production. And also, uh, having observed our financial indices, all the indices attract positive. Uh, I could recollect last year when I made comments concerning the chairman People thought that I was joking. I have said something from our chairman. I did something from me psychologically. He's a man of uh, a resilient, a man of vision. Uh, he's a man of focus. Uh, somebody that's uh, a potential to deliver. During this time, the automated factory. I want to comment on that. It's during this tenure, it comes to fulfillment. Uh, if I could recollect, the process started in 2014, but was achieved during this time. Kudos to the management and also the uh, And also, the training center is well equipped. Kudos to the management, kudos to the chairman. Also, having uh, gone through the, the annual reports, the annual report is, uh, is well explained, it's well understood to the level of uh, layman understanding, unlike before when you'll be taking, reading the annual reports, you were reading as if you are going for Cambridge examination, but this, uh, to at least to interpret most of the times, but looking at this kind of annual report so far, as far as this year is concerned, I could observe that uh, it is well understood. Thank you very much on that. Also, I also see something from our chairman we believe in his techniques, strategic and his uh, methodology for him to achieve this uh, uh, lightable project that is automated factory, uh, which is now producing 8 million liters. But on this note, I would like to advise the, the management to please uh, educate our, our partners, our business partners, in line with the framework. Because this uh, COVID-19 has affected the, uh, most of the businesses, have, has affected the economy. Uh, I'll be asking for the markets department to be aggressive this time around against our competitors. Uh, if possible, the management should please empower the ICT department so as to work in line with the market department to practice what we call e-marketing at this time of COVID-19. 
dividend payment. I appreciate you because this year we've noticed most of the companies who deny shareholders in payment of this uh, dividend. But from your hunger, you are able to at least to dish out something. We appreciate you for that. I was uh, reading a uh, newspaper Saturday when I observed that the federal government denied youth of this nation that they should look elsewhere to search for the for job. But when I was going through this annual report, you the management of burger pain sat down somewhere. You take your time on how to add value to Nigerian economy, how to add value to our image. But for you to decrease your employee, you increase them, their number. I want to say kudos to you. More grace to a elbow. Unlike most of the companies before the issue of this COVID-19, they've downsized. But for you, you increase the number of your employee. Kudos to you. In the area of donation, uh, you donated constructively, most especially to the less uh, privileged. We want to say kudos to you as well. Thank you on that. Uh, when I was also going through the annual reports in the area of equity, our share capital maintained its figure, share premium. There was surprise in the area of a written earning, the written earning increase. Also, the an area of uh, the loan we received from most of the bank, you made the payment at the due time. You made the payment at the due at the due time. To be frank, without an iota of doubt, back up internal reports. I still want to comment on that. It's wonderful, it's excellent, it's transparent, meaning that the board and management has performed what I call magic wand in regard to our company's sustainability and profitability. And on this note, I would like to uh, advise the shareholder representative here to please jack up their shares here, and at the same time, they should re-engineer, reinvent, re-educate the other shareholders to buy more shares of our great company in our own interest. I observed something in our annual reports as regard uh, one of our subsidiary in Ghana, that is uh, Lewis Pagan. I want to ask a question on that. That was the going forward in that regard because it's not producing and uh, it's not encouraging at this time. It should be producing to support the new factory uh, production. I wouldn't know maybe the management are looking for an expatriate on that. I need a question on that. Also, I uh, want to advise management to please take caution on depreciation costs. From my experience, depreciation costs is one of the major problems. Uh, the, uh, the board and director should please, uh, because I have something in quarter one results, revenue is higher, but the profit is low. Hope you are putting things in place to manage this uh, depreciation cost. Before I submit, I would like to appreciate the Office of the Company Secretary, Mr. Uh, Ayo, who creates a mutual relationship with the shareholder in the interest of our company. This Gentleman is accessible, dependable. He address issue constructively. I want to say you should keep it up. May you work stronger in wisdom 
and understanding. I will not but to appreciate the MD because it's during your time as well we are able to achieve most of the things in this company. Kudos to you. Uh, in the annual reports, the management are concerned. They, want, they are planning to look for an independent director. I want you please to take your time to do a, a, a uh, research on that before you can invite anyone on board. Let's have the antecedents and let there be the people of value who can add value to our company, the people that we are not going to regret. Oh. I noticed that uh, we just have a new operation, operating uh, uh, manager. Uh, I've gone through his uh, profile, and I observed that uh, he is going to. He's a man of season. He's a professional man, and he's going to add an uh, intrinsic value to our company. You are welcome. But I would like you to please be proactive at this time of this COVID-19. On the final notes, I want to appreciate you for giving this opportunity. While I wish everyone safe journey to their destination. Congratulations to Berger Paints. Congratulations to distinguished shareholder. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Gude, please. Good morning to each and every one of us. The chairman, with due respect, the company secretary, with due respect, and all stakeholders, with due respect. The name is uh, Igru de Moses. I represent uh, Sasson Yumosu at this, at this point. Uh, my comments is going to be on three categories. Number one, I will comment. Uh, comment. Uh, the management and the board of what their work they have done. I will ask questions and at the same time make recommendations. To start with, page not two, that is zero two, corporate policy. If you look at our corporate policy, vision, vision, and shared value. He said, to be the best solution provider in the paints and coating industry, commission consistently improving on our processes and products to deliver the ultimate satisfaction to our customer. Then share value, professionalism, integrity, customer focus, and treatment. Wonderful and excellent uh, corporate policy, but something outstanding. And... I will say, if you compare that with the financial highlight on page five and the dividend payment, you will discover your mission is to only satisfy a uh, customer. It's only clearly stated there to satisfy customer. What of other stakeholders? your shareholder, your workers. You didn't mention that. It's, uh, a philosopher will say that if you want to do something, and you want to follow up, you write it down. Please, I want you to look at that, uh, your corporate policy, to include other stakeholders. Maybe that will make you to take care of the uh, 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 shareholder problem. Because this... Uh, if you look at uh, page five, your financial highlight, all the indices went up perfectly well. But this is only the dividend 
went down 62 percent to what shareholder so i don't know whether it is your mission that you are following or there is anything that you need the chairman need to explain to us why this rationale but i will want the md and management to go and look at that uh, policy statement to include other stakeholders thank you then again comparing speaking to the dividend maybe it is because of the COVID 19 the other things that make you to decide that you want to pay less but you are not fair to us do you know why if you go to page 81 to page 82 personal finance expenses personal expenses director expenses increased over 180 percent in the financial year chairman expenses increased 300 percent over in this financial year but it's only the shareholder you decide to reduce by 60 percent please 62 percent so please go and look at it page 81 to 82 you can see it there on the, uh, the increment but you decrease also. so i hope that if shareholders make sacrifice for this time around i hope when things stabilize you will uh, compensate those who provide the finance number three board appointments wonderful you have done well and uh, you have the chairman in his statement have explained the essence on their vision of how they are going to do another appointment especially considering the female uh, agenda so that it will balance the board with balance but sir while you are doing that don't forget the minority shareholder representative on the board it is good if you put uh, like the minority shareholders who have small small shares if you have one of them select them i put them they will give you more they will give you advice the advice they will give you they have more experience and i think consider that too and when you are doing that you must consider uh qualification and value added to uh 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 the board, what they can contribute. It's not that just because they are like this, you will put them, no. But consider all the work, the, need, uh, the necessary things that qualify uh, anybody to be appointed to your board. See on appointments. I'm happy that uh, the CFO, you mentioned uh, the CFO where you were mentioned, uh, 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 talking the other time. I'm happy that a nigerian uh the same person who came uh, was appointed and we see that the the the, the board uh, uh the account of this year is performing why i'm congratulating him i'm encouraging him and appealing to him to leave above above board it's very necessary why when you perform well in this your duty there are chances that you will move higher we want more nigerians professional to perform well and live up board so that they can be appointed to what strategic position and then we will be proud of them so i'm charging you today that as cfo don't disappoint us. If you disappoint, you are disappointing Nigerians. We want to see a situation whereby your position can be the MD years to come. It is your performance. They don't give it. It is what you do that will encourage people or the board that this man is an excellent guy. Let's put him there. He can do the job. So I am charging you today and where all the Nigerians on the management. You must do your job excellence because that will make us be proud of you thank you for that then again number four 
I will commend management and uh, uh, the board, especially the chairman. Before you were, during the time you were about uh, to enter as a chairman, I was in particular place when you mentioned something, that you are coming with a vision to re-strategize and reposition Berger Pins, especially when it comes to the new uh, uh, automated plants. That was, I overheard you when you make that statement uh, before, just before you enter the, 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 uh, the position of chairmanship. I am very proud that you as a chairman have fulfilled that uh, uh, promise or what you said by making sure that uh, the, the plant is uh, commissioned. And not only like that, it's working uh, effectively. But I want to know, and this is June now, you say it was finally by December 2019, it was a full trial. Now it is in production. What is the position? What is the produ uh, production capacity now? Is it 100%, 50%, 60%? We will need to, to, to know so that we can uh, position ourselves. Uh, number f uh, 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 six, six here is regulatory compliance. This commendation will go to the legal department that was able to do it, that during this year, there was no regulatory infraction. Uh, the company secretary and the legal team, congratulations for doing it, and you have to keep it up. We don't want to come here to be paying fine. When you do something well, we commend you. When you do something uh, wrong, we say it to your face. Now, another one is director's interest. I want to know, uh, in the annual report, he said 20%. Uh, Nobody owns above 20%. I don't know whether it's the standard, but I know. In the law, uh, that Nigerian Stock Exchange or SEC, they said when anybody owns 5%, above 5%, that, uh, that uh, uh, interest should be disclosed on the annual report. Now, I want to know on page 32 and page 07, who are the representative of the following uh, 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 company on the board that has over 5%? Uh, uh, Harmony Trust and Investment Co. Limited, Mike Ade Investment Limited, and Kev, uh, that is overseas. I just want to know who are the people who are, are representing. And you will see other individual and institutions, 70%. Those are the people I want as minority that you supposed to uh, have appointed director to represent. So I want to know uh, uh, the board should give, um, the chairman should uh, give us uh, uh, some explanation uh, on that. On claim dividend, if you look at the page uh, 25 and uh, page 109, we have over 400 million on claim dividend. And SEC and Nigerian Stock Exchange, you are here, sir. Please, I want, there is a lot, the laws that you, no company after declaring that dividend should place that money on an escrow account that is being managed for, by external uh, fund manager. I agree. But there are interest coming from that money. I will advise that you to design a policy in such a way that that interest, part of that interest, should be used in looking for those shareholders. Because you will not touch is generating some money. That interest should be channeled to in such a way that they should use it to look for those shareholders across the country. I am just appealing that uh, such, uh, we should look at uh, uh, so, uh, such a thing, whether it will reduce uh, um, these uh, uh, unclaimed, unclaimed dividend is uh, going up, up and up in the capital market. I will equally, uh, Madam, have uh, spoken about uh, impairment losses on page. Uh, 58, 88, and 89. I want the chairman to equally explain to us 
the rationale behind that so that uh, we can, to our understanding. On page 57, 91, 92, there is a finance um, arrangement uh, with one development finance arrangement uh, in respect of uh, uh, is it garage construction service limited constructing and uh, our plaza. What is the position? We want a, a explanation on that position now. What is the position of that uh, transaction? I will, I, will, I will be so pleased if you can give uh, information on that. Then we have good products, good products, good service, uh, product, paint, and all that. This is Nigeria. We have, uh, I've read in a, somewhere in the annual report where he said fake, uh, and, uh, they are, we have done a lot of things in respect of uh, uh, adulteration and all that. I want to know. There is no way that this thing doesn't happen. It's all across the world, not only Nigeria. What are we doing in respect of how we can tackle this uh, business? And that is uh, faking adulteration of products so that at the end of the date, our product will be what? Uh, will not be uh, uh, affected. And finally, I want to, you know, uh, to really commend the, co uh, the company. But before I do that, this COVID-19 that is around, what are we doing? What are the strategy we are putting in place to make sure that this effect of this uh, uh, pandemic will not affect the company adversely to the point of not paying dividend or whatever. The risk analysis, what are we doing about it? Thank you very much for the opportunity of giving me, uh, giving me the opportunity to, 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 to speak at the AGM and at the same time speak. Thank you very much. The name once again is Igru de Moses. Thank you. Secretary, do we have any more questions? Um, that's all for now, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let me thank you for the comments, um, the well wishes. Um, first of all, on behalf of um, the board and the, um, on their behalf for your submissions and um, accept on their behalf the commendations that you've passed by me through to them. It's a team effort and we are not able to achieve anything apart from the fact when we're all pulling together. I'll start off um, by addressing some of your questions um, cut across the stream from all three of you. But I'll address uh, Mrs. Bakare's comments first of all. Um, the first thing she mentioned was the reduction in dividend with increased earnings. I know that appears to be um, paradoxical in that regard. When COVID-19 started, um, one of the things we did immediately was to recognize the severity and the potential for widespread dislocation. I sure just like everybody else you recognize that we still don't know what the final impact will be but we knew it was going to be very very severe and we knew it was going to be even more severe in Nigeria with the risk to our primary revenue sources the collapse in the oil price and everything that goes along with that as a board we spent the initial lockdown evaluating and discussing with management. The lockdown in and of itself was very significant because one, we had no idea when it was going to end. Because it was a global phenomenon, we knew it was going to severely impact our business. And we therefore started to, which is our primary responsibility, work on measures to try to cope with this. The first thing that became readily apparent was that the economic dislocation was going to be severe and that was going to impact revenue streams for business very severely. We made a judgment 
at a point at that point in time that preservation of liquidity was going to be paramount and critical and we revisited our intent you are right that the financial indicators and the rallies we enjoyed in 2019 meant that we were in a stronger position and we were actually on course where we wanted to be strategically but at the same time we had to look for the interest of the company we are shareholders and all stakeholders indeed and we thought it was very critical that until we had a clearer picture of just what the impact was going to be that we better err on the side of prudence and caution we are still in the middle of it. We don't know if we're fully out. There are still parts of the country that's in partial lockdown. We're having difficulty distributing some of our products. There are some areas that are, we're not able to access because they move in and out of lockdown. Interstate movement is restricted. So therefore, we made the decision that we would make a modest dividend. You know the history of the company. You know our dividend history. You know that making a return to our shareholders is the most critical thing that we consider at all points in time. And it's on that basis that we propose the reduced dividend. We're in a dynamic environment. We can revisit this as, 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 as required. And our intent is to navigate this whole new normal as best as possible and return back to profitability and resume the upward trajectory of our returns, which is what we are here for. Thank you. So I hope that addresses that. Um, we, you mentioned also, Mrs. Bakare, um, the um, impairment loss, and it was also mentioned in, in that. Um, that also is um, due to um, IFRS in terms of, in that regard, um, some of the ways is the classifications. We're doing a lot more business, and um, some of these um, classifications and um, requirements from IFRS um, means that sometimes there are significant swings in terms of where we are, um, uh, uh, what we have to account for within the books. Nevertheless, the spirit in which you're telling us is well noted, and we also watch all our indices very, very carefully. We ensure that those indices are something that we do not get um, taken, we, that we don't, we make sure that if anything sticks out of line, we try to work on that as quickly as possible. And likewise, so we're monitoring it carefully and we will be sure to keep it within the parameter set. So to be honest, we, we are looking at that. You also mentioned on the value added, and once again, we'll also be looking at that. And we continue to ensure that um, we look after all our indices to put us on the right sustainable track. Uh, Comrade Oguto, I want to thank you for your commendation and the appreciation for the dividend payment. You mentioned the status of Berger Garner. That's something we, I believe we, we probably addressed last year. It comes up periodically. Um, just to refresh your memory, yes, it is a subsidiary. Yes, we continue to monitor um, when we'll be able to activate that uh, subsidiary. And I think I mentioned, and I'll, I'll read that, um, that was due to external factors that the Ghanaian government suddenly came up with a reg regulation that um, I think any foreign-owned company, which would include us, particularly I think it was targeted at the Nigeria market, had to make a non-refundable $500,000 deposit to commence business. We did not think that was a judicious utilization of the company's scenario and what we can continue. So, so we are monitoring with all the speculators, but the market conditions are not favorable for that expansion at this time. That is one of the things why we're looking at. You further mentioned the key point of that to work the depreciation costs. Um, yes, you're right. Uh, that was a good pickup on the Q1. As you know, um, which, as I mentioned in my statement, brought us to end of a multi-year investment phase, which has impacted our cash position because we were investing significantly in the factory and ancillary works. And we are now transiting to what took us again on the earnings phase of the business, which is why this COVID is 
particularly ill-timed, unfortunately timed for us. The difference is that we finish making the investment in the factory, but as the accountants among the low, once the factory becomes active, it's a time for joy, but it's also when the depreciation starts to kick in and starts impacting our books. So we have taken a look at that. We've made adjustments. Um, the factory is a significant investment, which you, the shareholders, have kindly helped us to make. And um, we now recognize that the depreciation is impacting our books. And therefore, you will notice at the same time that it, as part of our refocus on the business, as I mentioned in my statement, we did not try to achieve scale. That's why our turnover growth was modest. But you could see from Q1 immediately that our turnover in Q1 was up 35%. Um, that shows you exactly where the company was and poised to be. We are recovering that position, um, but it, it is something that is one of those unfortunate things that happens. So I think that that would cover both your comments. Uh, Mr. Grude, thank you uh, for your comments. Um, uh, we note your comment on the mission. Um, I just wanted to point out that customer, as referenced in our mission statement, is both internal and external. It doesn't mean only people who buy our paint. We, our customer are also our stakeholders. We have internal customers, the staff, the employees. We have external, our shareholders the regulatory authorities, all our stakeholders are considered our customers. It's in the ethos of the company. It's in the culture of the company. It is something we fully understand that we're not just responsible for ourselves. We're responsible for all employees and everybody. If we bring excellence to bear in everything we do, it impacts everybody, including all stakeholders and everything. So that is our watchword. And uh, it is, it's, 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 fully understood by all members in the chain. And I'm happy that I've been given the opportunity to be able to explain that to you as well. Thank you. We, we note your comment on the dividend as well. And um, as I said earlier, we did make full consideration. It's almost a full event. Effectively, almost all the actions that had been taken um, in line in 2019 were already sunk costs. There was nothing we could do about them in light of that. So therefore, it looks like it's only the shareholders, perhaps, that have been brought. Um, luckily, I wear a dual hat. I am also a shareholder, so I share the pain, so to speak, as it is. But I think what is important to remember, what is important to focus on, is that we have rapidly established a track record of demonstrating to you that we want to be able to sustainably return to our shareholders in particular. And that is one of the reasons why we've made so much effort in terms of culture change and everything we're doing in the company. And um, whilst we're gratified by the financial indicators, we are more gratified by the fact that the company has refocused 100% on its primary purpose. And all the returns we're generating are out of our core competence and the activities for which we were set up. We're pleased about our sustainable operating income because that is what it matters and that is what matters and it's going to get us through this particular sticky spell we're in right now. So that is the reason for that. So it's not that we do not consider our shareholders in that. So we ask that you bear with us and it is, I can assure you, the management and every single employee, everybody involved with Berger, entirely to return us back on that path in spite of what is happening around us in the larger economy and we believe that we'll be able to do that um, we note your request for board appointment as i told you um, in terms of the minority shareholders we consider everything we're very methodical culture change was a very difficult transition for us in that regard because it, it was a way changing the way we got used to doing business and our singular focus in terms of working on that meant that we needed a full experience board on hand and we did not want to disrupt further. So we definitely take on board what you're saying and we will be looking at that um, with the level of thoroughness that you hopefully have come to expect from us and our attention to detail in everything that we do. Everything is in the best interest of the company and the stakeholders. You mentioned the production capacity of the new factory. Um, all I can say is that the factory is working as intended. 
Um, obviously, this is internal uh, competitive information that would rather not disclose in the public forum, but um, it's doing everything we expect it to do. And we're gradually embedding, as you can imagine, there's a great deal of knowledge transfer being the first of its kind in the country. So we are working on that and building our own capacity within and it's coming on stream and it's working quite nicely and it has impacted our business positively, as, as I said, and that's what I'd like to say on that. You mentioned, um, if I'm just checking, let me just check my notes. Um, in terms of the, um, who is representing um, various shareholders, I would direct you to the registrars on that. Any issues to deal with um, um, registrars and representation, I would uh, urge that you contact the registrar. They will be able to provide you with that information. Um, there's, um, there are a number of things. The unclaimed dividends continues. We work as best we can. The truth of the matter is we devote a significant amount of time uh, working with the registrars to try to because they um, they're an unresolved liability and somebody has earned those through their investment our primary belief is to try to get it to them and um, we can only do what the system allows us to do but what I want to assure you is that we're making absolutely every effort it's in our interest to try to get it out to them and keeping our shareholders we recognize that we have a lot of of shareholders who over time don't have a lot of quantity of shareholding and for whatever reason, some of them have lost in life and through that in the way they're not we're not able to reach them and you do reach dead ends in some cases and there's nowhere to go but all I can assure you is that we'll continue to make every single effort to in that regard to be able to do that there were a couple of questions on the Abuja Plaza um, and, um, that, that obviously you know that that's the partnership that um, like everything else sometimes conditions change um, when this plaza was conceived um, close to a decade ago retail shopping was a very lucrative segment of the economy um, there have been a lot of changes particularly in Abuja that have impacted on it there were security issues at one point. I'm sure some of you will remember when we had the unfortunate bombings. There was one that was actually in the shopping plaza almost right next door to us. That impacted long term on consumer behavior, particularly in the Abuja area. And um, people erring on the side of security were not quite as carefree in terms of their discretionary spending as they used to be. The economy has also impacted on that. The rise of online shopping, now even more intensified after COVID and everything has also impacted on the actual retail bricks and mortar business. So if I was sitting here today on behalf of the company and I had a say in it, I am not sure a retail shopping plaza would be what we're building. Nevertheless, you have our assurance that we know it's the company's investment. We are looking after it. It is secure. We're working with our partners as best as we can to ensure that what we can do, but we also put in the context that because we focused on doing what we do, we have much less of a reliance on other income, as you can see from our books. We're generating the business from making paint, which is the way it should be. And that has been part of our focus since I took over and what we've done. We have redressed the balance in that regard. So we continue to look out for the interests of the company and protects its interests. And we're watching on that and we are hoping that better economic conditions will rise so that the occupancy rate can go up there as well. It's, it's, but as I said, it's mostly external in that regard. So we are doing the best we can. In terms of adulteration of our product mitigation, it's a constant battle. We work very hard. We have cases. We've had, um, we pursue them. We work with the regulatory authorities, the standard authorities, the police. We've had cases where we prosecuted people and had them convicted, but it's one of those things that is the reality that sometimes people will do that, but we've made every measure possible to ensure that we can do that. You mentioned uh, in final what COVID strategies. Obviously, a lot of them are COVID um, are things we've looked at. Um, one of the things that we are doing is we recognize that COVID as it 
especially as it's an ongoing pandemic and something we have to live with, we recognize that behavior has been modified by people, how they interact, how they do things and everything. And one of the things we're very excited about is our new initiative on swift painting. Um, I'm sure some of you may have heard of it, and uh, we believe that that is going to be a game changer. And it's fully in conformity with the sort of um, hygienic interchange and mix you want with customers at this point in time. It's something we're very excited about, and it's going to change the way painting is done in this country. And it's a significant first for your company, and I think it's something we should be proud of. We will be releasing more information on it as time goes on, but it's already active, and we've implemented it in the market in very timely fashion. And um, for those who don't know, Swift Painting is, is a fully automated painting process. So the old days of, uh, of, of painting being messy and something, we, we completely re-engineered that to whereby it is a seamless modern process whereby we can be in and out even into your house which is occupied and by the time you come back from work your house is fully painted already inside so that is something we're very excited about these are some of the strategies we're looking at these are some of the questions that you have asked and i hope i've been able to answer them to the best of my ability um, we thank you for your close interest in our company. Everything we do is on behalf and to ensure that the company is sustainable, that it continues to grow. We do not take lightly the fact that we are caretakers at this point in time. The company has 59 years before us and we want to make sure it has another 60 years and plus in front of us. So we want to make sure that we lead our, leave our mark and it's a positive one and we leave the company in a much stronger position for everybody as the case may be. So I thank you all for bringing all of that in and I apologize if I took too long. I haven't answered your questions, we now move on to moving up the resolutions. May I request that a shareholder please move the motion that the reports of the directors and audit committee with the auditors for the financial year ended December 31st, 2019, now submitted to this meeting, be and are hereby received. Yes. Um, Mrs. Bakari. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Mrs. Bakari Adebisi Oluwa Yemisi. I so move. Will another member please second the motion? Um, I come with Lawrence. We will to hear by second this motion. Thank you very much. I shall now call on the to give us the results of this by poll. Thank you, Chairman. Um, as registrars for Resolution 1, we received a total of 173 votes by proxy, and the results are broken down as follows. We have a total of 173 votes for this resolution. We have zero votes against and zero invalid votes. So we have a total of 173 votes for this resolution. Okay, I'm trying to get back to my screen. You need to take, yes, thank you. Declared that the motion has been carried unanimously. Distinguished shareholders, we now move to the next item, which is the declaration of a dividend for the year ended 2019. 
as I explained in my statement, our macroeconomic environment outlook is ominous and we anticipate a severe recession post-pandemic. Given such a challenging landscape, we recognize that liquidity and working capital preservation is critical and are therefore constrained to reevaluate and retain as much earnings as possible. As a responsible board faced with all these decisions, we have chosen a cautious and prudent approach. Nevertheless, unlike several other companies, we maintain our desire to have our shareholders get some returns and we will be recommending the payment of a dividend of 25 kobo per share for the 2019 financial year. Can a shareholder please move the motion that a dividend of 25 kobo per ordinary share of 50 kobo be paid to all members whose names appeared in the register of members as at the close of business on June 11th, 2020, subject to the deduction of the appropriate withholding tax at the time of payment, as recommended by the board B and is hereby reproved. Okay. Um, let's move. You move, motion. Um, comrade I, Ubutari, move. I, Comrade Lawrence Ogutori, hereby move. Will another member please second the motion? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Mrs. Bakare Adebisi Oluwayemisi. I second the motion. Thank you very much. I shall now call on the registrars to give us the results of the votes by poll. Thank you. For resolution two on dividend, we received 173 votes by proxy, and the result is broken down as follows. We have the total proxy of 173 voting for this resolution to approve the dividend. We have zero votes against and zero invalid votes. Thank you. I declare that the motion has been carried unanimously. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is the re-election of retiring directors. Distinguished shareholders, the retiring directors are Mr. Raj Mangtani and engineer Patrick Baruche. Being eligible, Mr. Raj Mangtani and engineer Patrick Baruche are offering themselves for re-election in accordance with the provisions of KAMA. Can a member please move the motion that Mr. Raj Mangtani who having retired by rotation, being eligible and having offered himself for re-election, be duly re-elected. I come, I come Lawrence, Lawrence, hereby, hereby move. move. Will another member please second the motion? I so do, I so Mr. do Mr. Mr. Chairman. My name is Mrs. Mrs. Bakari. Thank you very much. I shall now call on the registrars to conduct the votes by poll and give us the results. Okay. okay. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Thank you Mr. Chairman. Chairman. For a, for a resolution 3A, 3A on the re-election of, re of Mr. Raj Maktani, we received a total of 173 votes by proxy, and the results, and the results are broken, are broken down, down as follows. The total, the total of the 173 votes voted, voted in, favor in favor of the re-election of, of Mr. Raj, Raj Maktani. There were no there votes, were no votes against, against, no, no invalid, invalid votes. votes. Thank you very much. I declare that the motion has been carried unanimously. Thank you. The second leg of that resolution is to re-elect engineer Patrick Baruche. Can a member please move the motion that engineer Patrick Baruche, who having retired by rotation, being eligible and having offered himself for re-election, be duly re-elected. I so do, Mr. Chairman. My name is Mrs. Bakari at DBC Oluwayemisi. I move the motion. Will another member please second the motion? I come with Lawrence Ogutui hereby yeah, second the motion. Thank you very much. I shall now call on the registrars to conduct the votes by poll and give us the results. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. For resolution 3B on the re-election of engineer Patrick Buruje, 
We received 173 votes by proxy. And the result is that 173, total 173 votes uh, were received, voted for the re-election of Mr. Patrick Buruche. There were no votes against and no votes were invalid. I declare that the motion has been carried unanimously. Distinguished shareholders, the next item on the agenda is to authorize the directors to fix the remuneration of the external auditors. Messrs. KPMG Professional Services, having in the case to continue in office, are reappointed as external auditors of the company without any resolution being passed. However, authorized by members at this general annual general meeting to fix their remuneration. Member, please move the motion that the remuneration and expenses of the company's external auditor, Messrs. KPMG, be fixed by the directors in respect of the period ending at the end of the next companies and allied law. Mr. Chairman, I so move the motion. My name is Mrs. B.C. Bakari. Sorry, sorry. So, proxy. Yes, Mr. Chairman, sorry. I come with Lawrence. Hereby second the motion. The Board of Directors, in compliance with the Companies and Allied Matters Act, has chosen three directors. Chief Musa Danjuma, Chief Nelson Wake, and Engineer Patrick Buruche to act as members of the Audit Committee. As I explained earlier, this resolution will be by show of hands. As at the close of business on June 3, 2020, three valid nominations were received for election into the Audit Committee. The names of the nominees and those that nominated them have been verified with our registrars. We will now go through the process of electing the audit committee members for the 2020 financial year. As I call the names of the nominees, um, will you, you can please identify yourselves. Your nominees for membership of the audit committee are Mary Shofolahan, nominated by Obaride Obatosho. Unfortunately, she's absent right now um, due to COVID. Um, but uh, not that she has, sorry, let me be clear on that. She's in the demographic where it's prudent not to go into large gatherings. Sorry, I didn't mean to interview that. Mr. Chibuzo AK, nominated by Moses Igrude. And Taiwo Afinju, nominated by Tijani Mukadam. Statutory Audit Committee unopposed. I will now call on a member to propose the following resolution. The Posture of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2004, an Audit Committee of the Company B and is hereby appointed with effect from today, June 24, 2020, till the conclusion of the next annual general meeting. The following are to constitute the membership of the committee. A, directors. One, Chief Musa Danjuma. Two, Chief Nelson Weke. Three, Engineer Patrick Buruche. B, shareholders. One, Mary Shofalao. Two, Chibuzo Eke. And three, Taiwa Fiju. Can somebody move the motion, please? I so do, Mr. Chairman. My Mrs. B. C. Pakari. Will another member please second the motion? Thank you. So good to you. Hereby second the motion. Now put the motion to the meeting. Will the proxies in favor of the motion, in addition to myself, please signify by raising their right hands? Will those against the motion please signify by raising their hands? I declare that the motion has been carried unanimously. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Distinguished
Good shareholders, as there is no other business for which due statutory notice were given, I thank you all for attending and taking part in the affairs of our company. I hereby declare the 60th annual general meeting of our company closed, and I thank you, and I wish you all safe journey. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.